Hi everyone, I'm Pocket Full of Posies, and welcome back to my channel! The next character up in the Rainbow Bright series is Moonglow, a color kid who specializes in coloring up the night, such as the moon and the stars, and any colors that appear in the night sky. She has such a lovely design, and I've been particularly excited about this one. So without further ado, let's get going! The base for this doll is going to be a Disney Animator Mini Aurora head with an Obitsu body. I start by removing the hair and face, and painting the scalp for the reroute. For the reroute, I have this saran hair from RestoreDoll.com. Once the hair is in, I prepare the head for the face up. I always start my face ups with blushing, mainly on the lips and cheeks. Both Moonglow and Tickle Pink have a pink hair and blue eyes combo, so I was trying to pick out shades for Moonglow that would be a bit darker in a way. For instance, I wanted the blue in her eyes to be a darker shade, though I don't know if that was properly conveyed in the long run. I also use a white gouache paint to add catch lights to the eyes. After the face up's done, I style the bangs with water and hairspray and leave it to set while I work on the outfit. The dress is made with some blue cotton fabric and a pink bias tape. It was also at this point where I checked on the doll and… this happened. I was so shocked because this had never happened to me before. So I had to go back and redo the face up off camera. It wasn't until later I learned that gouache paint tends to reactivate upon contact with water, which is a problem when styling hair on a repainted doll. I had to redo this face up two separate times, even when I added loads of sealant on it. This is why I'm probably going to stick to acrylic or acrylic paste paints on my doll's faces from now on. Then I can go back and finish working on the dress. For the socks, I cut a piece from a pair of kids tights and paint some stripes on them. I recycle Aurora's shoes and repaint them to the colors I need. I use air dry clay to make little stars and paint them pink. And then I can glue the stars onto the shoes. Moon Glow has a pink crescent moon on her belt, which I make with some craft foam. I'm going back to the original doll again as a guide for making the headband. 
It's done here with some ribbon and elastic, so I recreate that with a blue ribbon. I also need to make a little pink bow. And I add a star button on top to finish it off. Moonglow has her helper Night Sprite with her, so I wanted to make him as well. I start with a wire frame and a two-part epoxy sculpt to make the base. Night Sprite is interesting because his design is a little different from the other sprites. His legs and feet don't have a rainbow motif on them. They and the arms are the same shade of blue. His antenna are also little crescent moons instead of stars. I sew the limb parts together and attach them to the wire base first, and then stuff them with a small bit of fluff. I then sew the details on his face, including his little blue nose, and then I can attach it to the body piece. When I sew the body pieces, I like to place the pieces wrong sides together and leave the arm, leg, and top bits unsewn. I do it this way so I can take it off and reapply it right side out. Then I can sew the fabric to the limbs to keep it closed and solid. I leave a little opening in the back and stuff it with some leftover yarn fluff before I close it. I make the belt with pieces of craft foam and sew a little pocket. The last thing I do is sew the little moons onto the antenna. And with that, this custom is done. All the struggles aside, I'm still proud of how little Moonglow came out. Now she's ready to paint the night while we sleep. The next Rainbow Bright doll will be the last, so I'm looking forward to having a complete collection soon. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Bye!